Hey there, fellas. Okay, you guys up for some experiments? So we've already attached one muffler to each cylinder. After that, we turned this car into a popcorn maker. Now that actually turned out pretty good. And now we're looking to try out something new. Namely, instead of one muffler per cylinder, this video is going to be all about making the quietest exhaust system possible. Potentially the quietest in the world, even. So we went out and bought a bunch of different mufflers. Plus we still have those old ones. And now it's all a matter of welding up an exhaust while fitting each cylinder with its own resonator and muffler combo. This time we're gonna make it all a bit longer. And afterwards we see what comes out of all of this. Even when we fitted each cylinder with its own muffler last time around, the sounds coming from the engine became ever the more apparent. Each and every noise coming from that engine became much more pronounced. I'm pretty sure that as soon as we get this new setup going, that'll highlight the engine noise even more. We'll get a chance to hear exactly what kind of sound... I don't know, the cams generate, the valves, rockers and so forth. We're gonna be hearing everything that's going on. Right, I think it's time we put it all together and see what happens. Let's get to it. Making the quietest exhaust system. Nine mufflers. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Right, so here is what we're looking at, fellas. We are just about to begin testing. We've put together an exhaust, though it isn't that long. I mean, the tubing itself. Then again, I mean... I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. Go ahead. No. Nope, doesn't work. You hear that? Especially this one in particular. Can you guys hear that rattle? Meanwhile, this one... Nope, it's also rattling. We've got one resonator and one muffler per cylinder. And it is still pretty loud. At least you can hear what's going on over here. You can literally hear everything. Each and every sound emitted by that working engine. You can hear the valve train, how the carburetor is sucking air in. There's also some kind of whining noise. What is that? Looks like the alternator bearings are worn. Isn't that nice? Then again, that could be the water pump. They are next to each other, and they're driven by the same belt. Long story short, you can hear all those noises loud and clear. In theory, this should have worked pretty well. But as a matter of fact, it didn't. But we do have one more muffler. Here's how we should do this. We need to take these four and route them into a fifth can. A big one. Now that might actually get us somewhere. Right, guys, so here's what's up. We've got four individual routes from each of the cylinders. At first, we tried one resonator muffler, two resonator muffler, three resonator muffler, four resonator muffler. Basically, we repeated that layout four times. And now we've added a fifth one into the mix. This one is pretty large. 
One pipe goes in, two pipes come out. From the looks of it, you can actually mount it both ways, either upright or upside down. Anyway, so we've routed everything into a single pipe, and now we're left with two horns, or whatever you want to call them. And now it's a matter of testing this setup. What's happening? Okay, so it's running. And now we move over here. To be honest, there is a ton of noise coming from over here. Due to the fact that this motor isn't exactly what you'd call fresh, it is a bit worn out, so it does make a fair share of noise, which you can now clearly hear. We've put the air cleaner back into place, which aside from its regular functions, is also acting as a silencer. The carburetor does make plenty of noise when it's sucking in that air. And now we get to the interesting part. Let's walk to the back of the car and take a listen. It's actually pretty quiet. Give it some gas. Hopefully the mic is picking that up. From where I'm standing, it's actually very quiet. You can't hear any popping noises or crackles, given that this motor is definitely misfiring here and there. Regardless, no pops, no roughness of any kind, though it definitely stinks. However, the sound it's making is very muted, even quite smooth. Then again, we are indoors, so the noise is echoing off the walls. I see we take the car outside. There we'll get a better understanding, I reckon. Right, let's move the car outside and have a look. The engine is making a ton of noise, but the only thing we can really do is wrap it in something, or, I don't know, pour in some cement. That'll shut it up and get rid of any noises coming from the motor. But once you walk over to the exhaust tips, you've got complete and total silence. Check this out. It is indeed very quiet. Nice. Can you give it some gas, Ivan? I mean, nothing is changing. The only thing you can hear is the increased chatter from the engine, but back here it is so nice. If only everybody would drive around with a similar system, you wouldn't hear the cars coming. Now I reckon we should at least try to do a bit of testing on the move, as in go for a drive. Let's do this. Yeah, the motor itself is creating a serious racket. And immediately another drawback becomes very apparent. I'm referring, of course, to the placement of those four exhaust pipes. The resonators are laying smack dab in the middle of that windshield. Can't see a thing. It is still pretty cool, though. All in all, this was an awesome experiment. The exhaust is just so quiet. I can't get over it. After it's all said and done, you know what I think? If we were able to make such a quiet system, why not try making one that's very loud? We can really let our imagination run wild, huh? In any case, this experiment was a tremendous success. You guys watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. You know what? I'm gonna make that super loud exhaust. Right, catch you later.